Am I the asshole for wanting my neighbor to remove her ring doorbell? I've been living in my apartment complex for two years and it's been wonderful. Recently a young woman moved in across from my apartment. We introduced briefly and apart from the noise made when she was having movers bring in her things, she's very quiet and polite. However there's one thing that bothers me. She has a ring doorbell on her door. Recently, I saw her leaving and asked her why she had it and that I was worried that she could see me in my apartment. She said she had it for packages and due to no peepholes on the door, and just extra security. She showed me that yes it can see my door a bit but assured me she's not on her phone all day checking it. I expressed my uncomfortableness and asked her to remove it. She told me she was sorry I was was uncomfortable but she was not spying on me and had a right to have one up. She wasn't breaking her lease and she had seen other people in the complex have one. I told her I don't care about other people. I want it gone or I will be reporting her. She told me not to bother and called our property manager regarding it because I got a visit from her asking to leave her and the doorbell situation alone. Am I really out of line for this? You are the asshole just think of it as extra security that you don't have to pay for. I guarantee if something happens at your doorstep, the first thing you'll do is go to her for footage. You are the asshole. I told her I don't care about other people. So why should she care about you? I got a visit from her asking to leave her and the doorbell situation alone. Yeah. Fucking A. You are the asshole. Are you for real? She can see the outside of your door FFS to use legal terminology. You have no expectation of privacy for the outside of your door. It's a public area. Nor for what can be seen during the brief periods of time when your door is open. She, on the other hand, has legitimate concerns for her safety and property. Why does this feel like one of those, tell me you're dealing drugs without saying you're dealing drugs, scenarios? You are the asshole. Am I the asshole for making my son walk the dog? Throw away account and fake names because my wife is also on Reddit. And sorry for the long post. My wife, 39F, and I, 42M, have three sons, Alex, 15. Dylan, 11, and Jake, 8. When I was a kid I always wanted a dog but my parents said no. I never got the chance to get one during my 20s but recently my interest in owning one was sparked again so I asked my family what they thought about getting a dog. My wife wasn't enthusiastic about it but she relented after a few weeks of me asking. Alex and Jake were excited to get one but Dylan was immediately opposed to the idea. Dylan was always different than my other sons. He never had an interest in sports and was always more subdued than his brothers which has always made it hard for me to connect with him. He remained opposed to the idea of getting a dog but me and my other sons managed to wear him down until he finally relented. However, he said that if we did get a dog, he wasn't going to be interacting with it or taking care of it, that would be completely on me and his brothers. I found this ridiculous but I agreed in the moment hoping he would change his mind after meeting the dog. The problem is he hasn't changed his mind yet. We've had Zeus for seven months now and Dylan has not warmed up to him in the slightest. He doesn't play with the dog, he doesn't cuddle with him, he doesn't let Zeus into his room because he destroys stuff, and whenever he is near the dog he just ignores him. I find this completely ridiculous. Zeus loves Dylan, he follows him around whenever he sees him and jumps on him to get his attention and play but Dylan just isn't receptive to it. To change this, I told Dylan last week that he would be in charge of walking the dog every day after school. Dylan straight up refused and has shut down the conversation every time I bring it up. It's been a week and he hasn't walked the dog once. In my frustration, I told him that if he didn't start listening then I wouldn't allow him to go to the comic book store anymore and he freaked and told my wife. Now, my wife is upset with me, claiming that I knew what I was getting into with this and I knew that Dylan wouldn't be playing with the dog but his intolerance of the dog is weird and I refuse to entertain it any longer. My wife has been short with me ever since that conversation and Dylan is cold with me as well. Alex is now agreeing with his mother which is making me have second thoughts. So Reddit, am I the asshole? You are the asshole. So, you are three people who want a dog and could care of the dog. But your son who didn't want the dog has to even though you told him, he wouldn't have to. Dot. What you teach your son. You are a liar. It is okay to not take care of own responsibilities. You punish him intentionally because he isn't you. Edit. Thank you for the awards. I appreciate it. But please stop. This comment isn't genuine or anything great. Dylan. I won't interact with the dog. Op buys the dog. Dylan. Doesn't interact with the dog. Op. I mouth I. By the way, you are the asshole. 
Am I the asshole for telling my wife we can't fully participate in her family Xmas traditions? My wife, 36F, and I, 38M, have been married for 10 years and have three kids, 8, 5, and 3. We both work full-time and live fairly comfortably. I work in sales and have had somewhat of a down year commission-wise. At least compared to the last couple years. Coupled with inflation this year and the cost of raising three growing kids, our budget has definitely tightened a bit. Nothing serious, we just aren't saving as much as we have been able to in years past. But also enough of a change to warrant a careful look into our spending, at least in my opinion. My wife's family is large, she has five siblings and they all have kids. They also love Xmas. They make a huge deal about it. One of their traditions is that each sibling and their family buy a gift for each and every one of the nieces and nephews. We are also expected to buy gifts for each of her siblings and their parents. They at least say not to spend more than $20 on a gift, but that's still hundreds of dollars. And let's be honest, a $20 gift for a kid is going to either be ignored within a month, destroyed, or completely disregarded. In my opinion, I would rather draw names for one two people and get them a gift that is actually thoughtful and worthwhile. After buying school supplies for our older kids and both of them wanting to participate in fall activities this year, I looked at our budget and saw that we are actually spending more than we have the past few years. I had a talk with my wife about where we can curb some of our spending. I suggested that maybe we have a talk with her family about their Xmas tradition of buying literally everyone a gift. In my eyes, that's the easiest way to cut out hundreds of dollars of spending in one swoop. She took great offense to this and told me that her family has been doing this tradition for years before I came into the family and she's not going to be the one who tries to stop it. She said that we are just going to have to find ways to cut spending elsewhere. She told me I was a jerk for even suggesting such a thing when I know how important Xmas is to her family. She suggested we just don't buy gifts for each other this year instead. But that's only a fraction of what we are spending on gifts. When I asked her for other suggestions, she didn't have any because she likes our quality of life and thinks we are doing fine. I showed her the numbers and she still didn't think it is that big of a deal. I mean, yes, it's not like we are going to lose the house, but I don't think she is taking this as seriously as she should be, especially if I have another down year next year. I suggested we cut way back on things like Starbucks, she gets it every day, and she got pissed saying that I spend money on golfing. I golfed three times this year. She's mad because she thinks I am trying to cut spending on things that she cares more about. I just think her family Xmas tradition is the easiest way to cut back. Loads of really harsh comments in here on the op. Sometimes you have a bad year and have to adjust spending, suggesting he gets a second job seems crazy. The tradition would also really annoy me. You're spending huge amounts of money to buy gifts no one will really like, and in return you get loads of gifts that you don't really want either. Not the asshole. Am I the asshole for giving my brother and his wife two days to return my piano? IF32 developed an interest for piano after meeting my late husband who was a piano teacher for seven years. He taught me to play it and he helped me buy one, used one but still a bit expensive, two years ago. I play it every day, after his passing, six months ago, I just find comfort spending time playing. However, my brother and his wife, who came to stay with me for two months after losing their apartment, always complain about the piano noise although, I only play at daytime. Sil and I started arguing more frequently and my brother told me to only play it when they're out but I refused. Yesterday, I was out with friends for the day then I came in the evening, I found that my piano was gone. Turns out my brother had moved it to a friend's garage, I don't know which friend, while I was gone. I blew up at him and yelled that he had no right to touch it or move it. His wife said they did this as a last ditch effort to get some, peace and quiet, in the house. My brother reassured me that he'll give it back once he finds his own place and I get to live alone and play the piano all day long. He was sarcastic in his last line and couldn't take it. I told them to pack and leave my house because they were no longer welcome after this. He freaked out and tried begging me to take it easy and be more rational, but I threatened to call the police if they refused to leave. He took his family and left, the piano still isn't back and they're saying they'd give it back if I agree to let them move back in basically wanting things to go back to how gay were when they were complaining about the noise. They believe that what happened was a misunderstanding and every one of us mishandled the situation so they want to start new. I lost it and told them they have two days to return it or I'll call the cops on them. 
Mom is pressuring me to take them back saying it was my fault for not have any consideration for them as my guests to begin with. But I refused to take them back and put my foot down on the timeline I gave. Now I'm being called irrational and cruel to kick my brother out. Watch him struggle and refuse to let him move back in and choosing to escalate this to the authorities when I could just let them move back in and I get my piano back. You're still grieving and your asshole brother, and mom, pulls this stunt on you what the fuck? He's gonna put the piano on Craigslist for some quick cash after he had to move out. Wake up. Hashtag call the cops today. Dot. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You could also try posting on social media tagging your brother so his friends see let them know that whoever is storing the piano is currently storing a stolen item and they have xx hours to return it before the police become involved? You just know he hasn't told the truth to whoever is keeping it. 